Hello everyone, welcome to day first of May Lead Code Challenge and I hope all of you are having a great time. My name is Sanjay Today I am working as software developer for at Adobe and today I present day 672 of daily lead code problem. The question that we have in today is backspace string compare. Here in this question we are given two strings S and T. What we need to do, we need to update these strings and after the updation we need to check whether the resultant strings are equal in nature or not. If they are equal in nature, then we need to return true. Otherwise, we need to return false. Uh, what it means by updating the string? As soon as we see a hash character in this string, we need to skip the character previous to hash. For example, uh, we saw hash over here. That means we need to skip character previous to hash. Similarly, over here, we saw hash over here. That means we need to skip character previous to hash. So I'll be talking about these example as well as the algorithm to go about it by the presentation. So let's quickly hop on to it. Lead code 399 backspace string compare. It's an easy level question on lead code and I also feel the same. Also, if you have any doubt understanding this problem or if you want to ask anything from me in general, please feel free to ping on the telegram group or the discord server of coding decoded. Both the links are mentioned in the description below. So do check them out. Now let's get back to the example. Let's go step by step. I'll be walking you through a couple of examples. The first one here is a b hash c. So we need to generate the updated string where uh, whenever we see a hash, we have to remove the previous character that was present before hash. So let's get started. I'll exactly follow the same steps. Here we see a. So let's write a in, in, as an answer string. Next we see is b. So let's write b in the answer string. So, so far the string has become a b. Next we see is hash. So as soon as you see hash, what you're going to do, you simply delete the previous character that was just added. B was just added, so you'll simply delete it up. Let's proceed ahead. Next we see is C. So you go and add C to your answer string. The answer becomes AC. Pretty straightforward. Now let's look at few more examples. Now we have AD hash C. And again, we are going to follow the same thing. You see A, you add it up. You see D, you add it up. Next you see is hash. You delete the most recent character that was added added which was d and then you have c so answer becomes ac so as you can see that uh, the updated string for this particular string is ac for this particular string is again ac both are equal and we have to return to true in those cases now let's walk through an interesting case which is slightly longer example so that you get a good hold of the concept the first character that we see is b next we see is x next we see is o so after O, you see a hash. So as soon as you see a hash, what you're going to do, you'll simply delete the most recent character that was added. So this is gone. Next we see is J. So J gets added. Next we see is hash again. So J gets deleted. Next we see is hash again. That means you have to delete X this time. So X gets deleted. So this is also gone. This The uh, only character that remains is B. Let's proceed ahead. Next we see is T. So T gets added. Next we see is W. So W gets added. So the answer that corresponding to this particular string becomes BTW and we'll exactly follow the same steps as I've just talked here. As soon as you see a hash, you have to delete the most recent character that was added in your answer string. Without further ado, let's quickly walk through the coding section and conclude the approach. Here I've created the helper method, which is actually updating my input string and I pass in S to it. I pass in T to it and then then make a comparison between the updated string that I get from S and the updated string that I get from T. And if in case both are equal, I return true, otherwise I return false. So the problem reduces to writing this helper method appropriately. For deleting the most recent character added in your answer string, I am using one functionality of string builder, which is you can simply delete the character that was added at a particular index. And since you are always deleting the last character that was added, uh, this operation can be done easily in order of one time. So time complexity of this approach, this uh, logic is order of one. So let's get started. Uh, I iterate over the input string that is being passed over here. In case my current character is not equal to hash, what do I need to do? I need to append it to my answer string. Otherwise, I need to check whether my answer string dot length happens to be greater than zero. If it is greater than zero, then what do I need to do? I need to delete the most recent character that was added in my answer string. And I simply utilize this helper method delete char at and this is a position or index of the character that I want to delete. This will delete the last character. So once we are done with this, I can simply return the answer dot to string that has been generated after iterating over this for loop. So let's try and submit this up. 
the similar we can write a similar algorithm using stacks as well because sta- in stacks we also do the same thing you can even keep track of the top most element to lead delete the most recent character that has been added awesome accepted uh, it is 70 87% faster which is pretty good similarly in, in terms of memory as well so let's try the time complexity too the time complexity becomes order of n because you are iterating over the uh, uh, string only once in both these cases and similarly the space complexity also becomes order of n because there could be case that uh, your updated string is exactly equal to your input string with this let's conclude today's session i hope you really enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day head and stay tuned for more updates on coding decoded i'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question but till then goodbye